So I got a little fun video for you guys. So I'm a big fan of lenses like this. This is the 24 to 70. It's made for photography, not really meant for video, although you can use it for video and it looks fantastic. The problem is whenever I use a follow focus, I have to adapt something like this. And this doesn't work really well because this thing is made for different types of lenses. So you kind of slip this on, you tighten it up. It's really janky, doesn't work really well. It ends up slipping and then this thing kind of sticks out and it doesn't really work that well. So there's a company that specializes in creating these focus gears that allow you to convert your photography glass into a more cinema style lens. So what I wanna do today is take my Helios, which is one of my favorite lenses. I made a video on this. So if you guys have not watched that, make sure to check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And then another one of my favorite lens, which is the 24 to 70. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Helios lens. Uh, I've never done this before, so I don't know how well it's go going to turn out. I do notice that these are 3D printed. The quality actually seems really well. They are kind of pricey. So you're looking at about $35 per gear, which again can be pricey. And if you do own a 3D printer, you could probably do it yourself. So if you notice on this particular lens, it has this little funky groove. And if you look at the follow focus gear, you can also see that little groove in here. So I would imagine that the best entry point would be from the back. That's what she said. <laughs> Now the instructions do say that if it doesn't fit really snug, you can use like gaffer tape. Oh gosh, this fits really well. I think, is that it? No way. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't expect it to fit that easily, but I think this is a smaller lens and yeah, that works pretty well and it, it's on there pretty good. Yeah, I don't think it goes, yeah, it doesn't go any further. So I believe on this lens, it just kind of fits like that. And the nice thing is, you can take it off really easily too. So that is really interesting. Now, I actually like the fact that you can easily remove this. Now they do recommend if you want more of a tighter snug fit, you can use shims or you can also use gaffer tape. So just apply a little bit of gaffer tape and it's just gonna add that extra layer of thickness that it's just gonna be a lot more tighter and probably more of a permanent solution. Now let's go ahead and try it on the 24 to 70. Now the biggest difference between this lens and the Helios is that you only have one focus ring here where this one has a zoom and a focus. So let's go ahead and install it. Remember from the backside first. Now interesting enough, these follow focus rings, I first was introduced from a friend of mine who I saw it on his Sigma 18 to 35 and it worked out really great. So this one's a little bit more tighter. I can tell right away. And it's okay, you want a tight fit. That's just a lens cap, it's not breaking. It sounds like I'm breaking my lens. Oh, this is a lot tighter. That's okay. You can actually sand these down, it's okay from the inside. So if it's really, really tight, you can just grab a little bit of sandpaper and do that. But I actually prefer a much more tighter fit. I mean, I'm not gonna break it. Don't worry, that's just a lens cap. You guys are probably hearing, oh my gosh, Armando's breaking his lens. It's good. Actually, that I'm kind of comfortable there. That works really nice. Now let's go ahead and move on to the zoom ring. So there is a right and wrong way to do this. So take note, the lens itself kind of tapers. And if you notice, if I put it this way, it won't go. So I have to flip this around. So just keep that in mind. You wanna make sure that it enters very gently and it's going in pretty smooth again. I'm gonna just show you guys right here on camera. And that is not the lens cracking. And I think that's it. I think I'm happy with that. I mean, it's on there very snug to the point where I don't wanna do it any further. And I can still see, cause that's important, 24 to 70, cause I still wanna see my focal range. So yeah, this looks great. Look at that. Very, very responsive. Cool, so I still got the Sigma 18 to 35, Canon 16 to 35 that I need to install. Remember these are 3D printed, so there might be some minor imperfections in getting them installed, but they do provide instructions. And so far, as you guys saw, no complaints, they work really well. So check out followfocusgears.com to see if they make a follow focus for your lens. And if they don't, do not worry, because if you send over the dimensions of your lens, they will actually custom print one just for you. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching and you guys will catch me in the next one. Adios.